Hey, Doc, let me know when you got about 20 minutes left, okay? Yeah, yeah, no problem. And we are done. Anesthesia, you can wake the patient up now. <laughs> is there a problem? Is there a problem? What is it you think we do back here? Well, you... Do you think we have a giant anesthesia on-off switch that allows the patient to wake up instantly? Um, no? No. Okay, take your time. Thank you. Very common, and I don't know how this happens, misconception. Uh, a lot of uh, the times in uh, anesthesia, the surgeons, they expect us to wake up the patient like instantly, as soon as they're done. And with time, we actually get good at that. And especially if you're working with a surgeon that you work every day. So actually one of the good things about me working with Dr. William every day is that I know actually where he is and how long more or less till the end of the procedure. And I can start adjusting the anesthesia gases or reducing the amount of anesthesia in order to start waking up the patient towards the end of the procedure. And as he's putting usually the last stitches in or the dressings actually, the patient starts waking up. But it's usually, anesthesia is not an on and off switch. You can't just turn off the anesthesia and expect the patient to wake up immediately. That's not how it works. But unfortunately, a lot of times, especially in the hospital, anesthesia providers are judged not only by providing in first place, obviously, safety to the patients, but second, they're, they're judged by how long does it take for them to uh, adequately put a patient to sleep in a timely manner and wake them up right after surgery. And like I said, it's not an on and off switch. You actually have to gradually decrease the anesthesia and the longer the procedure, the longer it takes for the anesthesia to come off. So that's why this video is so funny because there's actually no on and off switch. When we turn off the anesthesia, your body, depending on the type of anesthesia, some of it has to be metabolized and then metabolized in different rates. And the anesthesia gases themselves, you have to blow it out and that's how you start waking up.